praise be to Yahweh Bahashem Yahashai Bahashem Bapapadash na Buhana Kuzelde and Apostle of Great Mistone peace and blessing and salutation to the Akiam who pushes this truth to the four winds of the heaven it is Rabraza Yashaya coming to you with this precept I hope the lesson will be edifying so this is Matthew 5 and verse 48 be ye zealous for perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So, I met uh, with one Hamite here, a Christian Hamite. He was saying, you can't be perfect. And another Hamite was saying, you can be perfect. So, it was like an argument. But since they know, I teach the Bible. Uh, they asked for my opinion uh, and uh, I basically gave them a short answer but I didn't go into a detail into, 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 into a detail breakdown so I thought it is a good lesson to bring first of all what is the meaning of being of, of the word perfect what is the meaning of the word of the word perfect? Let's go to the Blue Letter Bible and see. Let's see. Let me look here. Let me see if I can find it. Strong's G, 5046. Teleos. Teleos. So the word perfect means teleos in Greek. So let us go into the definition. See. Let's go into the definition. Definition in number four A. It say consummate human integrity and virtue. So the word perfect means integrity. You see, integrity. Let's go in a loop. The meaning of the word integrity. 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 It is a noun which says the quality of being honest and having strong moral principle. <laughs> so, from these two definitions, from integrity to having strong moral principle, I was just trying to, to break down it the word integrity you see the word integrity for you brothers who study the bible integrity it boils down to keeping the commandment yeah? Yeah. trying the best of your ability to keep the commandment yeah? Yeah. to re to have moral principle yeah? you can't have moral principle without following rules yeah? 
you need to follow rules to have moral principle men. That's why they are called moral principles, rule or commandment. So let's go back and read again Matthew 5 and 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So the word perfect means integrity, and the word integrity means moral principle, and the word moral principle means keeping the commandment. So, by us trying to rehearse the righteous act by keeping the commandment to our to the best of of our ability, make us perfect, man, as our heavenly Father. You see, so. Let us go a few verses up and see. Let us go to verse 43. You have heard that it has been said, Thou shall love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. By, but I say unto you, Love your enemy, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be children of your Father which is in heaven. So that in the other, in the other, in the other way you can say, so that you can be perfect as you, your Father which is in heaven. By keeping the commandment of loving your neighbor. And your neighbor, that is another breakdown. Who is your neighbor? You see? Your neighbor is your brother in this truth. That is your neighbor. In this captivity, even. Two said they are not your neighbor. <laughs> you see. You see. If somebody in this truth, eh, you are walking the same path, and all of a sudden he, he became your enemy, man. you need to love that brother. Man. That's why what it means. This is not telling you to love yourself. You see. So don't mistake don't take my word and say that he was saying we can love our enemy we can love isa we can love two said no we hate two said man as king david hated two said we hate two said the enemy and your neighbor in Matthew 5 it is talking about your brother who is walking in the same path as you You see? So my point was not that. My point was, you can't just read Matthew 5 and 49 and learn and say you can't be perfect. Or we can be perfect. You needed to understand the meaning of words. Perfect just means integrity. Man. Try the best of your ability to keep your integrity. Man. Don't commit a data. Anyway. Call up to communication. But we follow short, man. That's why we, we, we say that. We are not like a UIC who, who, who say they can keep all the commandments. Here in Great Miston, we say uh, we try to our best of our ability to keep the commandment, which make us perfect. You see? This is like an analogy, man. Because our Heavenly Father is perfect, man. He doesn't go off, man. He is perfect in every way. That's why He gave us commandment, so that we can try the best of our ability to be like Him. So, let's continue. But He said to you, love your enemy, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and they pray for them which despise use you. And the persecutor that you may be the children of your father which is in heaven. For he makes his son to rise on the evil and on the good. And the saints slain on the just and on the unjust. For you love them which love you. And what reward have ye? Do not even the public and the same. And if you salute your brother in your own, what do you more than yours? Do not even the public and so. Verse 48. Be perfect. Even as your father which in heaven is perfect. So you get what verse 48 came from me. 
perfect means integrity and integrity means uprightness uprightness means following moral principle eh? so let's go to, 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 to job one eh? let's bring some more scripture here job one one is there was a man in the land of whose whose name was job and a man was perfect and upright and the one that feared god and should evil men so job kept the commandment he was righteous he kept the commandment let's see let's see if that's so this is job 2 and 9 then he said his wife unto him, Does Zo still retain his integrity, curse God and die? Man. Uh, when the job was going through tribulation, uh, but he, he still kept the commandment to the best of his ability. Man. Uh, and his wife was trying to be a demon here. So integrity bring perfection. You see? Integrity bring perfection. Uh, so that uh, by us keeping our integrity and being perfect, we resemble our Heavenly Father, or we, we fulfill the purpose of creation. The purpose of creation was to create a man which will be in the like, likeness of the Heavenly Father. Eh? Let's go and, and grab that. This is Genesis 1 and 26. And God said, Let us make man in your image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over everything creeping, thing that creeps upon the earth. You see? Genesis 5 and 1. This is a book of generation of Adam in the day that God created the man in the likeness of God made he him you see so the powers created the man in their likeness man this means that you see man was created in a way that he will be able to keep the commandment man. Yeah. to keep uh, uh, or to live in integrity in perfection Living in perfection make you into a likeness of our Heavenly Father. Right? Yeah. Be perfect as your Heavenly Father. Right? Yeah. To live in a likeness of our Creator by keeping the commandment. So, this let us make man in, your, in, in our image after our likeness. I can say it is in twofold. It is real, literal and spiritual. Uh, spiritual is that a man was made into a likeness of our Heavenly Father by him being programmed in a certain way that he will be able to, fall, to keep the commandment. Uh, the beast of the field cannot keep the, the commandment because they are not made into the likeness of the Heavenly Father. You see, you see how hot I'm getting to. And another meaning of let us make men in your own likeness is that man was made into the likeness of the powers of heaven. That is literal. Man. The heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, His only begotten Son, they got, they got, uh, their body resemble like our bodies man uh, what is they look like is a resemble like us but mm, 
there are different tabernacles man. there is earthly tabernacle and heavenly tabernacle man. what i'm saying is our 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 body were made from soil but the bodies of the, of the powers of heaven are celestial man. they have celestial body but if you meet an angel he look just like a man that's why in Ezekiel 1 they say they, they have a face of a man, man. So they look just like us. Man. But the difference is their body is celestial, our body are earthly bodies. Man. So that's what I was trying to, 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 to go there. Man. So let's go to First King. First King 8. And sixty-one. Let your heart therefore be perfect with the Lord your God to walk in His statue and keep His commandment as at this day. Man. So, at first I explained that perfect means integrity, and integrity means moral principle, which boils down to keeping the commandment. Now I'm proving through scripture, through precept, that perfection, it simply means keeping the commandment. Man. If you're keeping the commandment, you'll be perfect as a heavenly father. You see? <laughs> you see? Yeah. But this does not make you equal to the heavenly father. Man. Yeah. This will make you into a likeness of, of the heavenly father. So you need to know the twist and turn of the scripture. Man. You got people who will, will listen to this and say, they say that you can be perfect like Yahweh. <laughs> can you be perfect? You, you need to know the twist and turn man, and up and down into these scriptures. Man. Being perfect as the Heavenly Father, it simply means living to the likeness of the Heavenly Father by keeping the commandments. That's why uh, in, 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 in Genesis 1, we read that the powers made man into their likeness. Uh, it, it goes into making man into, way, into a way that he will be able to keep the commandment. Man. Uh, let's see. Bring yeah, with me there is one scripture I want I uh, want to see here if I can find it. It is in Ezekiel. So, I told you Adam was made into a likeness of the powers of heaven. That means he was made into a way 
that he can keep the commandment and uphold in Tazbit in the world before the flood. Let's go and read. This is Ezekiel 31, starting at verse 4. The waters made him greet the deep, set him up on high with her rivers running round about his plant, and sent out her little river on all the trees of the field. You see, that was talking. You see, that was talking. You know about the other man he was made like into a tree man he was surrounded by the waters man if you go into a, into this breakdown you can see trees means uh, trees means people you see trees means people you see and and the waters means people Verse 5, therefore his height was exalted above all the tree of the field, man. So this is talking about Adam, man. Adam was held in high esteem eh, during the creation because the Lord created mankind. He didn't create, create a single Adam. He created many Adam, man. And they said one Adam as a tree among many trees that's what it means here therefore his height was exalted above all the trees of the field he's talking about adam because adam was made in a way that he can uphold righteous in this world he can enforce law statutes and commandments that's, that's that's the meaning of him being made into a likeness of the powers of heaven but Adam went off, man, and he was cast out of Eden. So being perfect as the Heavenly Father, or being made into a likeness of the Heavenly Father, that doesn't, does not mean that he will not fall short. You see? So this perfection does not mean that to be perfect like, the, like a Heavenly Father does not mean that you can have equal strength like the Heavenly Father. Here, it is just talking about being applied, applied keeping target, keeping the statues, laws, laws statues, and commandments. Right? Let's continue. And his bows were much bright, and his branch became long because of the multitude of what when he shot first. Man. That's talking about Adam. Man. Abraham was exalted uh, in those times among many Adam which were created. All the falls of heaven made their nest in his boss, man. And under his branch did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young, man. So the beast of the field, that goes to the retro beast, and the beast as a man. A man is, is like a beast that perish, if you can remember that precept. Man. And under his shadow dwell all great nations, man. So, so during Adam time, there was nations, man. Those trees, man. You see? Thus was he fair in his greatness in the length of his branch, for his root was by great water. The cedar in the garden of Eden, of the garden of God, could not hide him. The fig tree were not like his bow, and the chestnut tree were not like his branch. Nor any tree in the garden of God was like See, yeah. was like unto him in his beauty, man. So <laughs> Adam was made perfect. What does it mean, man? He was made into a likeness of our Lord Yahweh and the powers of heaven. Of heaven. He was made into a way that he can uphold his integrity, keep the rules, statutes, and commandment. You see? Let's continue. I have made him fair by the multitude of his branch, so that all the tree of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him. So uh, the other nations, the other Adams, which were created by during the creation, 
because Adam means mankind as a mankind as a trees envied him envied Adam you see because he was made uh, uh, he was like the elect of that time eh? you see he was like the elect of that time so Matthew 5 and 48 which say you will be perfect like the heavenly father first of all is talking to the elect man the elect in this time will be trying to keep the law statutes and commandments to the best of their ability so at the end of the day they will be made perfect like the heavenly father man yeah. by them upholding their integrity you see let's go and see some few precepts and close this this down here Let's go to see Psalm 19. Psalm 19 and John. The heaven declares the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. That's not what I needed. But even that is a good scripture, man. By you keeping the law statutes and commandment, you see. What? Yeah. You telling people that is a, a higher power to be feared, man. Yeah. Like Adam, the other Adams envied Adam, who which who was the elect, because he showed them that he can be perfect, he can uphold the integrity, man. But by us upholding the integrity, we are showing the handiwork of our Heavenly Father, man. So that is being like Him, man. Because our Heavenly Father is perfect. You see? This is John 17, the 22. And the glory which is all gave is me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and so in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the old may know that Zo has sent me. By us being made perfect in our shy, we are showing the, way, the, the whole world that Yahweh sent Yahweh shy, man. To redeem his elect man. by us keeping that integrity, keeping the law statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. The world will hate us, man. And we are exalting our Heavenly Father by us keeping our integrity. Man. We don't commit adultery, we try as the best of our ability not committing adultery, not eating pork, uh, not killing, uh, love. We love here in the mystery, we love man, we love our neighbor. That's what it is, man. And the world may know that Zoe has sent me and have loved them as Zoe has loved me. So Adam at that time, by him keeping the integrity, he showed the other Adams, the other nations at that time that the Lord dwell with men, man. You see, and we can be applied, we can keep the law statutes and commandment. But nevertheless, Adam fell fell short, man. See, Adam fell short. We can keep the law statutes and commandment, but we are still men, man. We are not yet saved. I hope the lesson was edifying. I tried to exp to explain. For the best of my ability, it's already perfect, man. This is your brother Yashaya from Central Africa. Much love.